Hey everyone, I wanted to bring this video to you right away as I just received the comments on one of my videos from a subscriber by the name of a beautiful mess 01 Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention and as soon as she told me this, I wanted to do my own research on it. Um, I thought it was important and I will be annotating my old video on shampoo recommendations because Hugo Naturals, it's funny how I bought their fragrance-free lotion again all companies, most natural companies besides Dr. Bonner's that I know of and I'm sure there are others out there that are actually good and honest about their ingredients but the, the point is um, they're not very honest these natural companies I'm sorry to tell you this we have to do the best that we can this information will be in the down bar but again I would not recommend Hugo Naturals shampoo why? because the honeysuckle extract is just the same as parabens yes paraben Again, I will look down below and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. I looked and did my own research and if you look at the science of it, a paraben, um, the molecular structure of honeysuckle extract par methyl paraben, it's, just, it's pretty much the same thing. From a consumer standpoint, I like to say if you want to avoid parabens, you need to avoid Japanese honeysuckle extract. It most certainly looks like and behaves like a paraben. To make this clear, I would like to show you structural similarities between a lab-created paraben and a para-hydroxybenzoic acid found in Japanese honeysuckle extract. Woo. Okay. Technically, paraben refers to only a lab-created version, therefore manufacturers don't technically have to list it as a paraben, so they can say it's paraben-free. Um, does it behave like a paraben in the body? This is the most important point, okay? Studies on parahydroxyl acid, again, the Japanese honeysuckle extract, do show it behaves pretty much the same way as a paraben, i.e. can be taken up easily through the skin and can bind to cells sensitive to hormones. They are both hormone disruptors, you know. You can decide whether you want to avoid it or not. So I would definitely not recommend their shampoos from Hugo Naturals. If you want to try some of their lotions, you know, give that a try and some of their other products. But buyer beware, these natural companies, as I mentioned in my last video, unfortunately most of them aren't honest. Again, Dr. Bronner's is pretty transparent and honest with their ingredients. But this kind of stuff makes me angry because they're greenwashing and marketing these products as being natural when they're the exact opposite and trying to lie to us. And... Um, I don't want to be recommending that brand, so I feel a little more positive that I didn't buy. Again, there's no 100% perfect natural brand that I can say works for me, what works for you. Um, but I must maybe I knew intuition that I I just I'll just say I feel glad that I chose Andalou Naturals as my lotion instead. You can definitely still try Hugo Naturals, and I recommend it. It performed well, but glad I went with Andalou Naturals. Not sure if they use honeysuckle extract, but I don't think they do. You have to make your decision what feels right for you. I just did some further research before I let you go and to make the research and guesswork easier for you I am so 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 glad that I chose to not stay with the Hugo Naturals lotion um, I take back what I said sorry but I don't recommend Hugo Naturals lotion and um, yeah not impressed with the brand that they have it in a lot of their products I must have known intuitively because I could have kept the lotion. The lotion still worked fine, but I knew, nah, this wasn't for me. Even though it performed well, I switched to Andalou Naturals, who doesn't use honeysuckle extract, which again is related to methylparaben. It is in their products, a lot of their natural body washes, in their deodorant, in their hand soap. Um, it's also in a lot of Opry Organics products, who I was going to switch to this year in the summer for using their sunscreen. Well, that's definitely going to be switching now, and I think I'm going to make a new video soon on uh, sunscreen recommendations and really find ones that are natural, cruelty-free, that perform well. Yeah. That might be my next one. I don't know if people are interested in that. And also it's in Beauty Without Cruelty Facial Cleanser. It was only in that one. They are pretty good. Their brand didn't have it in it. But to recap, a lot of Hugo Naturals products has this uh, methylparaben in it, but it doesn't actually say methylparaben. It behaves the same way. Again, it is a hormone disruptor and can be known to cause cancer. Doesn't mean you're going to get cancer the next day. No, but I don't want to put that in my body. Sorry if I'm talking a mile a minute, but this is something that really disturbs me and I just want to get the facts there. So Aubrey Organics, a lot of their um, hair products as well as their sunscreen would not recommend. If you care about parabens, don't be using it. Hope you enjoyed this, found this helpful. Sorry if it seems negative, but I just need to bring you the truth because I do not want to be recommending products that are um, disguising their ingredients as something else, but actually behaving the same way as a preservative that is linked and banned in many countries. So. You be the judge, and uh, I'm glad I found other alternatives. See, we really can do this. Bye.